What's up everyone? I'm just in my native plant lawn with the sprinkler on because it's been a heat wave, so I'm watering them at night. Give them that deep water, you know what I'm saying. But this is the benefit when you plant native sunflowers. These are California native sunflowers. As you can see right there, it's getting pollinated by a native moth. It's pretty fucking sick, bro. But what I want to talk about is something that I think is really cool that I never hear people talk about. And that is when you plant native sunflowers, ex extremely cute native bees use them as their bed. So you got two native longhorn beans right there. Na there's all types of native longhorn beans all over North America. There's over 1,600 native bees in California, bro. There's so much variety. And you got another one right here, taking a little nap. And then you got another one right there. What they do is they sleep on these so that they know where their food is when they wake up in the morning. And when it's a cold day, all these guys will go together on one flower and then they'll cuddle together on it. Just look how cute these things are. Longhorn bees are the cutest bees except for leaf cutters. There's so many cute native bees. We need to remember that honeybees aren't the only pollinators. Honeybees and monarch butterflies are all I hear people talk about. It kind of drives me insane, I'm not gonna lie. There are plenty of other pollinators that need our help, like extremely cute native longhorn bees. Another benefit of having native sunflowers, unlike that hybrid sunflower over there, mammoth Russians that were made by selectively breeding sunflowers for hundreds of years by the Russians and Native Americans doing work. But the native sunflowers give you multiple blooms. So this is food for days. And then when they go to seed, the birds go crazy for this shit. The birds will eat this before the seeds even fully develop. They'll eat them while they're still green. It's crazy. The point of this video is native sunflowers are sick as fuck. Stop only planting that shit. You could buy a Home Depot. Pull over on the side of the road when you see those sunflowers growing next to the freeway. Pop your hood and then the cops won't get mad at you, bro. That's the, that's the trick right there. If you want to start collecting wild seeds, pop the hood. When you pop the hood and turn on the emergency lights, they think that you have car trouble, not that you're a fucking idiot collecting seeds. That's how you get shit done. Native sunflowers, native bees, native water. <laughs> and that's what I call a native lawn. Now I gotta rip out all the invasive stuff and keep going. We got invasive Himalayan blackberry and tomatoes that look pretty and more sunflowers. No ice checking in, this one actually looks like a sun. Let's talk about a little sunflower botany since we're already here. I was about to end it because I was like, what should I talk about? But we'll talk about sunflower botany real quick, boys and girls, sorry, brethren and sisterin. So let's go to the other side over here. So these are Helianthus annuus. This is a native sunflower that could be found all over North America. You also can find Helianthus californicus in California, which is another beautiful sunflower. It does not get this big, but does have multiple blooms. That's a great way to tell. Multiple smaller blooms instead of one beef bloom. You want the little blooms, not the beef. So these are native members of the sunflower family. You see it's already starting to produce seeds. And how you could tell that this is a sunflower is obviously, <laughs> it looks like a sun. But do you see all those little flowers? Those are individual florets. This is not one flower. This is a bunch of individual small flowers called florets. That's how you get shit done, bro. That's why the bees love this shit. Because instead of one flower, they actually got a bunch of food right here. It's sick as fuck, bro. Some flowers are based. And they got little prickly stem on them too. That's another good way to identify it. Sometimes it'll turn a little purple like that as well. Sexy ass plants. These things will bloom until fucking September, bro. If I kept watering them, which I don't. I'm gonna fuck it. They could bloom until like fucking November. Just look at the sexiness on these flowers, bro. You can see the extra floral nectar on the back. You see those dots? That's actually nectar that the sunflower produces. See how sticky it is? That's crazy. So that's actually a nectar the sunflower produces to attract ants and other insects to protect it. So the ants will be like, yo, this is my source of nectar. See, there's an ant on it right there. You see that shit? Sorry about the road. <laughs> I live next to a freeway. So you see the ants on it. The ants are like, this is my nectar source. Hey, get off me, bro. But the ants will get the nectar, but then when things start eating it, like caterpillars and other insects, the ants will fuck them up, bro. That's why it's so sick, dude. Sunflowers are so sick. I love it. Moral of the story, plant native. Help the native bee, homie. Save the right bees. Stop supporting that invasive honeybees. Don't get a beehive. Get some native plants and provide that habitat. Based.